the zipper box. Although it looks like a modular, this is actually a tessellation and this is made from one single unit of paper. There are many variations, the open, the useless box or the three layers box and they are all made from a rectangle. Um, what we actually need for this one, which I'm going to teach today, is a strip of 7 on 38 squares. Since it's quite difficult to get 7 on 38, what I'm starting with is 8 on 40 and then I will cut out one row and two columns to get 7 by 38. This is actually the complete crease pattern. As you can see it's very very simple but let me take you through the stages. I'm going to use this piece of paper, it's 16 by 80 centimeters so it's keeping the ratio of 1 to 5, 1 to 5 and it's quite easy to divide it to 8 very simple this will make 2 and just as simple as making it to, to 8 I want I won't continue all the way because it will be quite tedious, you can do it by yourself. But I want to teach also how to divide it to 40. Um, for that I'm using a ruler. I know that 16, the, the width is 16 centimeters, so I'm putting the 16 on the left side. And then I know that from here to here it's going to be 32, 32 squares. And 32 squares is very simple. I cut it to two, so each one is 16, and then I can just so what I have here is 16, 16, and 8. And each one of them is very easy to divide. So to, the total is 16, 32, 40. Okay. I hope you, you are familiar with the way to do divisions and tessellations. On the right side you can use the edge of the paper going all the way to the closest crease line until you have one out of four. But to do all the other divisions, what I usually do, I turn it over and I do it like this and then I reverse the form so all of them at the end will be mountain forms again I divide in half to the next this line I open up then I have a new this line I divide it again reverse reverse this one and to complete and that's how I divided the first section to eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. Here I just do the same and repeat it all over until I have eight division of eight on forty. Now remember that we have to cut away two and one on the edge. So after that. I'm not cutting right now, but you can see that now we have 7 on 38. Okay. You have to start from somewhere. If all the grid is mountain, then you make valleys, and it's a very simple pattern. You start, this is the center, a diagonal on one square, go to the left and then go to the right with two squares one square left two squares right and you just keep on doing that and on the right side you do the mirrored creases just like that so I usually prefer to do mountain instead of valleys so I 
still the paper upside down and I just and then I come back with those ones per diagonal. So after I have all of these, I know it will take you more time than what I have done here because I've already made it, but you can just pause the video and, and complete all the grid as it is here. Now the last part is very simple once again. I'm collapsing the paper according to the designs. This is a lovely phase. There are many options to go from that also because okay. so this is what we've we've got until now this is a close-up look for the collapse all right it's kind of hard to describe it in in words but what you do is just push it you hold and push and there's a very satisfying click moment here oh. Look on the side, and this is how you get the round shape. Okay, I'll do it again. It's just I click and click, click and click. So, back to the full scale model, I'm going to show you how to close the circuit. I'm clicking, collapsing, actually. Now, the crucial thing is to manage and combine first and last units. What I'm actually doing here, and this is going to be the pocket, and this is going to be the tab, and the last two units are going to be together, two squares, sorry. So, here is one and two, and this is the first one and two. When I, I make them together, I can also collapse, and very important is to hold it here inside with a clothespin. Now, when you have all the model collapsed, hold together, there's only one thing left to do is to take out those layers and close the box. So what I'm doing, I'm doing a rotational procedure. I'm just, every time I open inside, I, I fold inside these layers and I'm using this fold line here. It's, it's an existing fold line, and it's very important not to do new ones. Okay. When I have all of them to the side, the last thing that is still left to do is to make them flat. So I cannot flatten one without doing the rest. So I'll just start a bit, and then I can go all the way. This is one side, and just the same on the other side. And that's it. Maybe it's a good idea to put something heavy on it when it's flat, like a day or two, until it just stay in the position. At this time you can take out the clothespin, and this is the single unit modular link. Thank you for watching.